you talked with Nick, and I hope that you found out if that is an eagle or an angel he changed it into, because I've been trying to figure it out. Let me just say this, Nancy. I've known Nick for a long time, and when he got that tattoo, I thought, wow, tattoos are forever. Pessimist. Love isn't. He really? explained what's going on. I saw the picture. You yeah. did a picture of a new, a you new tattoo you have on your back. I'm going to give you the exclusive. I want the exclusive. When it's done, I'm going to show up to your house naked. And I'm going to just let you see all the work. But I'm, st I'm still not even halfway done yet. That's what kind of made me mad because everybody's like, oh, he's off showing off this tattoo. Like, again, somebody caught me, you know, it was fresh too. So uh -huh. I think, trust me, when it's done, y'all ain't going to be able to pay me to keep a shirt on. <laughs> right now, Can it's you? not finished. Nick's new tat of an angel hovering over Christ on the cross is kind of his official, unofficial way of saying, it's so over, Mariah. How are you doing personally? How's everything going? Because a lot, a lot of talk about it. It's a lot going on, but you know what? Uh, just taking it one day at a time, it's interesting to, I, I've never been one to kind of hide or, or avoid any questions. And uh, um, yeah, like I'm a candid dude, but I feel like no one wants to deal with their personal life in the public, but I know what I signed up for. Sometimes a public opinion might want to paint you a certain way, but at the end of the day, that's not what it's about. Ultimately, I want to do what's best for my family, for my children. Baby's good. Babies are great, man. Yeah. Three and a half years old, they're excited about Halloween coming up. They're on the road with mommy right now. I caught up with Nick as he shot a reoccurring guest spot on the Fox Sunday Night Show, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He also got personal talking about his former All That co-star, Amanda Bynes, who remains on a psychiatric lockdown. I've seen it before, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it's sad, man, because I've known her since she was a child, and I just see somebody crying out for help more than anything, and I've always reached out to her and let her know yeah. that I understand we could talk about it, and, and she was welcoming to that, but right now it's just one of those things where we just, all we can do is pray for her and hope that she continues to get help.